We're back to know you still there. It's breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and uh, we have a tech expert here with us, Bolaji Oladipupo, to talk to us on securing our homes with technology. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. Okay. Uh, well, um, a lot of people, when we only see how we how homes are protected by technology from movies, and we feel as if uh, maybe if you think about that kind of a thing in Nigeria, you must be stinkingly rich before you can protect your home with technology. Is this a myth or is it true? Yeah, so um, protecting our homes with uh, technology is becoming more affordable now. Mm. So, so yeah, so it's something that uh, with just a little budget, mm. we can, we, we can <laughs> do it. So, so now, you know, smartphones are in the course, and so they are everywhere. And uh, you have apps, and you have some of these uh, devices for home security that you can just, they are like plug and play. Of course, they could be overwhelming at some point because you need to bring a lot of devices together, or you can start small. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so basically, you know, you could have, um, we are all used to CCTV, mm -hmm. uh, close circuit television cameras, but now we have, uh, you know, smart ones that uh, you can just stick to anywhere around your homes, and you can monitor from your phone. And you also have alarms and sensors, so like door, door cameras, and there are also amazing one that you can even now have smart lock. So just imagine that uh, you have smart locks for your door, and when you have your guest, maybe family or relative, from your phone, you can create access for them. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to share your spare key uh, with mm -hmm. anyone. So you just create. And once they are leaving, you can, you know, decide, uh, disable their access. Mm. So, so those things are becoming aff uh, affordable and available. When you talk affordable, <laughs> how affordable is this affordable? Uh, uh, before coming to this program, I check um, popular e-commerce sites, mm. even the one that is popular in the country, mm. and also the one abroad. I could see just around uh, ninety dollars, you know. So they are so they are that that price range of uh, hundred dollars, one twenty dollars, okay. compared to before where you need a thousand dollars to be able to, and uh, you need experts to be able to come and fix it while at your home. Now you don't need that. It's just most of them run some Wi-Fi. They use your phone to arm or disarm them. Yeah, I was going to ask you if, uh, if you need this kind of home security, whether you need to change the architecture or you need to change the way your house is, the wiring and everything for you to be able to accommodate this. So that's why we call them smart mm. securities for homes, right? Smart in the sense that uh, you know, the last conversation we discussed yeah. that once we put smart to something, it means that number one is connected to the internet, you can send data to the cloud. Mm. So, and once it's connected to the internet, it means that you can use Wi-Fi. Mm. So, now, as long as you have internet services, Wi-Fi devices, you don't need to, you know, rewire your homes. And the good thing is that some of them are just, you can always remove them and stick them into another position. So, they have those, this suction, uh, material that you can just unplug them and uh, plug fix them into another location so you don't have to just permanently fix a camera in a position so if you just have one and you want to monitor your uh, outside perimeter for example you just remove it from your room and put it there maybe you have a party or something and when you're done you remove it and mm. you place it into another location. So but are they available uh, in Nigeria or I have to yeah. order it from abroad? So um, I know a shop in Nigeria that uh, sell end-to-end -end complete those uh, smart security and so they are available in Nigeria. In VI? Uh, the one I've personally patronized and visited is in uh, Yaba. 
Okay, uh, that works. That works <laughs> because when you have a shop in Dia and you have a shop on the mainland, it, it, they are two different things. Yeah. So yeah, but okay, which means these things are here with us. But walk us through the the advantages of having this home security um, uh, through technology. Are they replacing the abo keys, or or you still need this? So uh, one survey that I you know came across reported that 92% uh, of uh, ex burglars mm -hmm. said that uh, when you have a smart security system, it will deter them. Mm -hmm. So they didn't say that when you have physical security that will deter them. So physical security is good, but sometimes they could be tricked, they could play around, go find something to eat mm -hmm. and why things happen. And there's also the human fatigue and the fact that the familiarity, people that want to break into your home may come in the form of being friends to them and that trust level, they gain that trust and they use that to break in. Mm -hmm. But with uh, technology, you can't you, you can't be friends to technology once you intrude the alarm will just uh, you know sound and also you get insight and that's another in, uh, nice thing about smart security so you have data so you could understand the pattern and your smart security could report what is happening in the building your human security sometimes is, is just looking around your outside premises and you may not want to give that person access to your rooms and go but just imagine that uh, somehow somebody was able to break in that barrier of human security and it's in the building so your smart security will be able to pick that up even if it is your human security mm. that you use the privilege of the fact that it has access to quickly maybe get into your room, get into some restricted area in your house, you'll be able to get notified on your on your app and you can even lock that person in. Okay, uh, there are two concerns now. Um, if it is affordable, you can buy it or you can install it. Uh, maintaining it is another thing. Uh, how, how sure are we maintaining it in the sense that in two senses that okay if it breaks down there's someone who can who can look into it without you having to necessarily go and buy another one and two uh, maintaining it in the sense that you might need data that you didn't even think you can ever use in your life is that what happens that if you have this home security run by technology you'll constantly have data uh, maybe 20 gigabyte at a time 100 gigabyte at a time that that means it will cost a lot of money to maintain okay so let's start from the data mm -hmm. part uh, data is becoming affordable you think so yes there are even data plans that you when you pay for your airtime, you get data package bundles free and all that. And some of these devices, they are also not data hungry. Remember, these manufacturers, this product, they are in the market to gain advantage, and they constantly have better versions that you use. Uh, just uh, the least amount of data. So of course, it's part of the survey that you need to do. Mm -hmm. You need to go for a provider or a product that can work in an environment that is not data hungry, that is built for African market, and also that can work in an environment where power is not uh, efficient. So some are battery powered, some can run using your grid electricity so but you need to then you also now need to also look for the ones that could withstand our climate yeah so you, you you just can't bring those things and import them you need to be sure that so i once uh had a camera that was two cameras actually me and my colleague uh one was bought in india another one was bought in the u.s and when we traveled to UK, 
the camera that was bought in US worked very well, mm -hmm. but the one that was bought from India yeah, didn't they work. So that day, I just got to understand that some of these uh, 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 this product and devices, they were actually made for a particular environment. So it's very always very important when you are buying some of those things to be sure that they can really work in the environment. And that's why sometimes it might be better to patronize local uh, vendors here because you can always go back and okay place it. so they have the ability to maintain it as it were if yeah. anything goes wrong okay but another concern is how safe is this security um, system how secure is it because some people feel it can also be prone to hacking and if that happens then you're as good as open to everybody yeah so data security yeah sure you can there's vulnerability when you have smart system computers phone people can use it as endpoint to tag to carry out malicious intent mm -hmm. so that's very possible and that's why it's always better number one to buy from an authorized uh, dealer or source so that you're buying uh, a product that has passed some certification and test and if your device has uh, software that needs to be updated it's always good to ensure that you have the latest update of your software because those devices software power those devices and periodically they get uh, refreshed and so you don't want to say that oh this update is I'll do it later. So once you are prompted to update or to upgrade, just leave everything and update it. Update it. Mm. So always go for the latest version of the software. And also, um, the normal hygiene that we practice in data security, because those things have passwords, so password management, ensure that uh, it's well handled. If you need to change your password regularly, you do that. And <coughs> so, if you do that, you're limiting the surface of the attack. And once there's a breach or you notice a breach, just quickly call in uh, a professional to quickly do an audit of your environment, and they might be able to isolate uh, the devices, the, com the ones that has been compromised, and you know, replace it. Okay, uh, a final one and very quickly uh, now. Uh, the last time we talked, we talked about um, uh, the lack of infrastructure uh, limiting how much uh, technology can flourish in Nigeria. Uh, these security systems you're talking about, they don't need that kind of infrastructure that you were talking, or do they still need it? Are we still having this limitation? No, the, the infrastructure we have now can power the smart systems. So we are, we are fine with the infrastructure we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the present government talks about technology. What would be your greatest advice for them now as the last thing? Uh, to deploy more technology in government, data. So now there's issue of um, for PMS, price, in hike, transport, and co. So there should be a way for, for example, government workers to be able to work remotely, but they will need technology so a lot of things we can power through technology even with the infrastructure that we have so deploy more technology to increase the productivity of people okay uh, we've been talking with uh, Oladi Pupo or Bolaji Oladi Pupo is a tech expert and he's talking with us on uh, uh, the uh, on securing our homes with technology and it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Okay. Before we wrap it up, uh, here's the quote for the day. The value of an idea lies in the using of it. The value of an idea lies in the using of it. Those are the words of Thomas Edison and I do hope that whatever idea you have, you will try to put it to use so that it becomes something it will be a dream come true my name is nyam gul adgaji let's do it again tomorrow bye for now